Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the locator strategy for Robot Framework. So how to identify the locators for the web UI automation. It is exactly similar for uh, the Robot Framework as it is for the Selenium automation because Robot Framework is a wrapper on top of Selenium. So the locator strategies that we, utilize, we use to utilize in Selenium uh, automation it is exactly same and in this tutorial I won't go into very deep um, introduction of how to identify each and element location uh, locator but I'll briefly cover uh, the important locator so that you can uh, identify those locators and follow the future uh, tutorials for robot framework so let's go to the documentation first and uh, see the selenium library so here i am at the selenium library so if you want to navigate to selenium library go to the robot framework library section on the website and these are the standard libraries which are the built-in libraries for the robot framework and then you have the external library and in the external library there is a selenium library okay so that's what i have opened and here if you just search for locators okay and go to locating elements and here you will get all the information about the locating elements and how to locate elements um, in uh, the robot framework and how what is the key, uh, correct syntax to you to utilize the locators okay so there is a default locator strategy and then there is explicit locator strategy and implicit xpath strategy okay so as you can see in my script here i haven't i have used direct xpath that i have copied from the chrome okay and i haven't uh, mentioned any xpath tag or anything okay so that's what it means here so implicit xpath strategy means that if your locator is starting with double slash forward slash then robot framework automatically will consider it as an xpath expression and will um, give you the correct or identify the correct element based on the path that you have provided so you don't have to explicitly specify the xpath um, the other uh, strategy is to provide explicit locator which is required in you know like case of id or name and then uh, you can use it in XPath and CSS. And this is basically uh, providing explicit uh, locator strategy is very important uh, so that you are aware that what type of path you are utilizing, right? So for example, is it an ID or name or uh, is it a tag, etc. Uh, even though you will be able to easily identify by the structure of the path, but uh, still, you have to provide the explicit ID or the XPath. So to provide the explicit locator strategy, what you need to do is uh, here, what I'll say is I'll just say XPath, you can use colon or you can use equal to, okay? And then the spaces here doesn't matter. So here, if you see, read um, these spaces are all equivalent. So if it is, you know, like single space here or here or here, then it means all same and you can use either name colon value or name or xpath equal to value okay the preferred way is the former one which is basically this one so that's the preferred way the reason for that is because the letter is identical to name argument syntax right so that is why the preferred approach to use the locators is to use with the colon and then just provide the colon right so here i have used two x paths and i'm using colon x path colon and then providing the path there now the next thing is in these x in these locator strategies if you see there are a lot many strategies that you can ut utilize like identifying by id name um, either by id or name or by class by tag id and name are the least brittle so they are the preferred one so if you get an id for an element please try to use that or if you get a name please try to use that uh, because they are least prone uh, to you know like breakage 
uh, and even if there is something say for example in xpath there is a little bit change in the structure that your xpath will fail so id name is the priority one then you can utilize the css selector and the the last one should be uh, the last of your choice should be your xpath there are many other selectors like the class the tag the dom link uh, all of these I'll cover in a separate tutorial series for the locator strategies in Selenium and I'll cover in a lot more detail with an examples how you can identify these elements. But for now, I'll quickly go ahead and show you how you can get these locators on the website. So for example, on this eBay website, let's I uh, check the element say for example this search box just right click on your chrome browser just open the website on your chrome browser right click on an element click on inspect and it will open the details element details right now here this element has been highlighted just check if you are able to see id or name there right so here you can see there is an id present already so if you double click on that it will highlight the id you can simply copy it and then in the locator strategy what you can do is i can say um, press keys and double spaces and then id and colon and provide the id that, that you have copied two spaces return all right so that's how you will identify the id of an element if it is present in case you can't see an id then just check if there is any name tag there right so for example there is a name here in term in place of id there is a name and then there is a value of the name you can use the name directly so the only thing you have to change in the script is just here just say name and the value that you are getting in the name tag say for example this is name okay so whatever value that you are getting just provide that now the next uh, locator is basically say for example if you right click and directly say copy you will see a lot of uh, options there so you can copy the selector which is the css selector so for example you want to use css selector instead of xpath click on selector and then go to pycharm Py here and then you can just say um, css colon and provide the css selector okay so rest everything will remain same right and double spaces return okay so that's basically how you will utilize the name id xpath and css and these four uh, should be fine as of now there are other selectors which will cover when we go through with the few uh, further test cases which will require say for example uh, there will be a requirement to use uh, the selector for example the tag or the link or the partial link or there is a uh, possibility to click on uh, the selector based on the tag name then we'll cover the other locators as and when they arrive in our test cases or we are not able to find these four uh, locators in the elements that we are looking for but for now these four locators should be good enough for you to go ahead and start exploring uh, or identifying the elements on the website and start automating some of your test cases using robot framework so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching